welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. We're at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, an SEC battle on CBS. The pride of the Southland Band parts, opens the tee, and here come the Volunteers. behind them the crimson tide of Alabama but the teams are two and two in the last four meetings James Wilhoyt will kick off Javier Arenas and Rashad Johnson are deep for the crimson tide returnable bobbled in the end zone and uh, Rashad Johnson will take a knee on the field for the Crimson Tide. They're looking at third and five. Left side, patch is made by D.J. Hall, and a first down Alabama at the 32-yard line. Tackle made by Wides on third and 10. And again, the blitz coming. Wilson has time and overthrows his intended receiver. D.J. Hall, not average, but a fairly effective net punt. Here's Fitzgerald. Jonathan Hefney is back. He gathers it in at the 32-yard line. Has some space. Has a lot of space. Fitzgerald is the back who drags him down. The punter saves six. Second down and 10 after Castile knocked it away. Draw play. Big hole. It's Coker. The redshirt freshman inside. Kinds has changed a lot over the years. More base defenses than he used to be wild, he said. On third down and two. That's Coker into the arms of Jeremy Clark. It's a pixel. He also hit a 51-yarder, equaling his career long. That was against Florida in a 21-20 loss here. From 46, Will Hoyt. Missed it. It's something you don't see very often. And they bring five, and they've got a chance to win. Oh, Wilson. Now he's got to escape the pressure from behind. They catch him and drop him Xavier Mitchell. Coker is the running back. He's the redshirt freshman, number 22. Gets a good block, and Ainge is hit as he lets it go, and it's incomplete. I thought he got a good block, and then kaboom. Jimmy Johns injured last week. On the field for Alabama. Play action. John Parker Wilson gets a good block. Has D.J. Hall open in the left flat. That's a nine-yard gain out to the 40. It was so tough. Seeing people giving up points against 51 Tennessee two weeks ago. That's from Tennessee. Was down 24 to 7. Here's John Parker Wilson. Will Oakley, who had a huge third down catch yep. in the outside tackle. Second down here. Hand off to Johns. He's got a huge hole up the middle. Inside the 20 for the Crimson Tide. A couple of John Alabama will go from the spread. And the blitz is on. Five men coming. Little inside route. Good. Down to the eight-yard line. Catch made by Nikita Stover. One wide right on third and goal. John Parker Wilson in the end zone deep. Almost picked off. Kick the field goal that won this game for Alabama, 6-3. to P.J. Fitzgerald will hold this to break a scoreless tie. Yeah. Alabama's on the board first. At number 27, Foster, in this game a year ago, had a breakout game of 53 yards, replacing Gerald Riggs Jr. after an injury. Here's Robert Meacham, number three. From Eric Ainge. Touched by Ainge. Three men down for Alabama. Big hole for Tennessee. Huge run. Down the sideline, it's Foster. Out of bounds at the 36 -year 11. And again, three down. Four will come. Ainge goes right. Oh, sorry. Wonderful throw. How about the first down catch made by Jason Swain? Sixth spot. And it results in the first down at the 22 yard line. Play fake, Ainge looking left all the way. Single coverage, is it picked off? Yes, it is. Simeon Castile, fourth interception of the season for him. 
and only the sixth. But he does out in the middle of the field, but in the scoring zone, he struggles. On third and four, he's back. The blitz coming. Barely does get rid of it. And Will Oakley runs under it. Like catching. Which caused John Parker Wilson to say, I'll never slow up going out of bounds again. Here's the handoff to Johns coming left. And he moves it out to the 31-yard line. He's a man. Wow. Here's the handoff to Tim Castile. I do not think he, well, he, no, he didn't come he close. Didn't even come close. Not at all. Out of the gun, Eric Ainge. Stunts. Inside pattern, Brett Smith. He breaks loose. It's a foot race. And Smith out of bounds at the 19-yard line. Chased there by number three, Jeffrey Dukes. They got a hot quarterback, and they got a chance to, to be SEC champs. And here's the handoff to Foster. He's stuffed at the 10-yard line. Now David Cutcliffe, very Tennessee trails by three. Quarterback keeper. And Eric Ains stretches that six foot six. Third and goal from the 14. Here comes a maximum blitz. Ains hit as he lets it go. The pass complete, but it's complete only to the 10-yard line. And that will set up a fourth down. Brett Smith makes the grab. For Tennessee, his dad, Sparky Woods, is the running back coach for Alabama. The kick is up, and it is good. They're bringing five. Wilson wings it. Contact made, but after the contact was made with the ball, so Matt Cadell cannot. And they are tied 3-3, second down and seven. You saw the graphic. This is the second highest scoring team in the league. Great job. Oh, my goodness. What a beauty. Robert Meacham, number three. Oklahoma on signing day. Turned down the university in Norman and opted to come here. Here's the pass. Uh -oh. Intercepted by Castile. His second of the game. And he's flying down the sideline. Only Ames can stop him. And he does. Stepped out on the eighth, I guess. Ainge had a bit. Now, Alabama, only six sacks all year. There you see it. It's a smash route to the outside. The ball sails high, and look at Castile gets a present, and only Ainge had a chance for him. Only guy that had a chance was the quarterback. Ainge ran him down. Will he save an opportunity for the difference between a touchdown and a field goal? Never, though. You see their sixth worst of the 119 teams. Here's Darby. And it will be fourth and go. Well, he kept chugging away, didn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'm going. Kick is up, and the kick is good, and we are now eat that. Jonathan Hefney is back to return it. He had a 32-yard return, first punt return of the ball game. He's got a little bit of room. He's got a lot more room. Gets a downfield block. He went the wrong way. Oh, my. He went the wrong way. And that one they got away with Alabama. Here comes the blitz. Good blitz pickup. Ains drills it. No flag again. Line judge says, uh-uh. In to tie it up from 47. Perfect. Well, it was inside the right. Up 10 third down conversions today. Here comes the blitz. John Parker Wilson intercepted or no, it's incomplete. It was dropped. Ainge, right side, Robert Meacham. Executing what he called a tight turn yesterday. Yep. Three down. See how many they bring. They'll bring everybody. Yep. Ainge has time. Right side. Caught. Out of bounds. Oh, the they're really jammed inside for the sneak. I don't know. Ainge. Oh. oh. Still struggling. I don't think he's going to no, get it. No, he's not. He's not going to get it. Alabama sold out to the quarterback sneak, and Tennessee went with it. John Parker Wilson pressure. Flips it out. Jimmy John screen pass. First down to the 47-yard line. It's Play fake. Wilson throws it up for D.J. Hall. Triple coverage. Flags are thrown. Uh, 
TJ Hall in Tennessee. If it is, the ball will be given to Alabama there, obviously. Otherwise, it'll be interference and go as a 15-yard penalty. Looks like that catch pro throw had, isn't it? It did. It looks exactly like that remarkable catch of Tyrone Prothrow early last season. That was for a touchdown. And here is the replay. Tyrone Prothrow, the injured Alabama receiver. That at second and five at the seven, not second and goal. Darby to the one. And that should be enough to move package. The big guys, McLean and Castile. It's Castile following the block. Touchdown, Alabama. Touchdown, Alabama. Simeon Castile has two interceptions today. His brother, Tim, has a touchdown run. Orlando Pace, that's high praise. Wow. That's, that's rich praise. Inge back. Goes deep on first down. Catch is made. Brett Smith out to the 38-yard line. Ainge is not comfortable. Third and six. It's a four-man rush. Ainge goes right in and out of the hands of Brett Smith, who's popped by Simeon Castile, played yet this year. Third down. Four-man rush for Tennessee. Darby bounces off a tackle. Slips another, but he's short of the first down. Out to the sixth. It's all on his shoulders here. As the balls trail by seven, have the ball at the 43. Here's Ainge, left side. That one is caught by Brett Smith. On first and ten, Ainge, left side. Got on in the wing. It's Josh Briscoe to the 16-yard line. Well, you know, we talked. Ainge looking the other direction. Flips it out incomplete. Well, they didn't pick up anything. They're going to have... And the lead has been cut to four. Eight. Quick flip, incomplete. Intended for Oakland. Eric Ainge has thrown for 237 today, but he's had three interceptions. This one complete to the 37-yard line. Eric Alabama brings three and drops eight. Ainge goes right, tipped incomplete, flag down. Good side of the field to throw it on by the Tennessee bench. Listen, I've done this for a while. <laughs> when I played, we used to first down and ten. Ainge steps up. He's got a man open, wide open. Robert Meacham, number three from Anderson, is the fullback to the right. They lob it out. It's caught by Arian Foster down the sidelines and out of bounds with the first down at the set. Alabama brings the blitz. Ainge rolls left. Pulls up. Tough throw. Caught. No signal. Not make it earlier. Third and goal. No doubt about this. Touchdown. Tennessee, Arian Foster. It's a touchdown. Will Hoyt to make it a three-point game. Snap was a little off. That was a good hold by Casey. Four-man rush, John Parker Wilson. Fires it high and incomplete. Tipped away by Jonathan Heffner. His offensive coordinator for Philip Fulmer for a long, long time. How about this decision? Corey Anderson, the fullback, makes the catch. Well, on third yard. In 49 seconds. Yeah. No timeouts. That's a, maybe too many 40s. <laughs> DJ Hall at the 40-yard line. That's third and 19. Got him again. Tennessee wins it by three.
Nice moment with Philip Fulmer and Mike Shula guiding their respective alma maters in this old, old rivalry. Twas not to be for Alabama. Eric Ainge, with his third 300-yard passing effort of the season, leads Tennessee to the victory. For Tracy Wolfson and Gary Danielson, I'm Vern Lundquist saying so long from Neyland in Knoxville. We'll see you next week.